Shalom, Kohlo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, Double honest to our teachers, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth, and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I want to go into this this topic of the Texas fires. Recently, I went into, you know, um, what happened in Chile and even what happened in Maui, which we know this is Esau's plan to bring in a new world order. And also they want to create these, um, you know, uh, S-M-A-R-T cities. OK, for algorithm's sake. But this man, he's about to come down with great wrath. He's already coming down with great wrath. And he's going to continue to come down with great wrath and show you that he's a devil. All right. What you're seeing on the screen is Texas and what's going on in Texas. Before we go any further, let's grab the scripture right here. Oh, and shallow warm to the hundred and forty four thousand. And you true believers, you sincere brothers and sisters that's teaching this word or, or believing in this word. And you or and you brothers that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Continue to push, continue to strive. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right, but real quick, I want to go into this uh, because we're coming into a time where this devil is going to really start showing out. All right, he's going to really start showing out more and more. So beware, stay circumspect, stay spiritual. This is um, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. It says, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and that they and that thou should shouldest give reward unto the servants slaki and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets which are you so called uh negro suspending state of Indians, you brothers that's out there teaching the lord is going to give a reward unto you it says and to the saints and to them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them that destroy the earth OK, the time has come where the Lord is about to destroy them that destroy the earth. And that's what Esau is doing. OK, he's destroying the earth. All right. I got a few more clips here I want to show. But let me grab one more before I, you know, get more into it. It's a few clips here I want to show. But this is um, Revelation chapter 12, um, verse 12. It says, therefore, rejoice in the NLT. Therefore, rejoice, O heavens, and you that and you who live in the heavens. Rejoice, but terror will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. So Esau knows his time is short, so he's about to come down with great death and destruction. Okay, he's about to come down with all hell breaking loose. All right, and if we know anything about these uh, forest fires, as they call them, uh, this has been going on, you know, in um, in a uh, uh, these different places across the world where Esau is setting things on fire. Okay, he has you know his energy do weapons and he's um using them, okay, to get what he wants. Alright, if you know anything about, you know, what's been going on with America and Texas concerning the border, you know, America I mean uh, Texas not wanting to obey according to what the you know the Biden administration is saying according to that border. So there's no coincidence now that, that, that is, is facing fires. It says this was Hawaii right before the fire. All right. Direct energy weapons. This devil, he's a um, man captures mysterious green laser during a storm in Texas. All right. Let's go back here real quick because I want to read this. It says um, wildfires in Texas are dangerously close to U.S. nuclear weapon assembly plant. Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a dis a disaster declaration for 60 uh, countries as far as four fires ravaged the panhandle. OK, so you got a, a, a lot of things going on. OK, over there in Texas, we're in really all over the world. Right now, I'm focusing on Texas. I want to show this, too. It's important that we report on these things, okay? I warn you of, uh, of that it's only going to get worse, okay? Great death and destruction is coming. Repent and seek your whole body from that shower may be found. All right. Now this says, "Hell, let me see if I can grab the whole thing." 
Solo, hija tranquila, si Solo tuvo de Lo says, Texas fires, hell on earth as fires continue to burn out in Chile. Alright. It says, reports suggest that over 80% of all Texas cattle feed in the impacted area. Right. So, all this uh, food, you know, for the cows, you know, is being destroyed. That's done on purpose to bring in what? A famine. You know, there's people cut fences, open gates. But the cows can move on their own, get out of the way of it. If you multiply that times 200 or 300 ranchers in the area, uh, it's got to be in the thousands. And I don't know if that's 5,000, 10,000. We lease and we have about a little over 1,000 cows here. Uh, so, you, so, so you see the cattle. I don't want to show too much for YouTube's sake. But, um, yeah, you know, a lot of animals are dying. A lot of the cattle are dying. Um, and and the, the place where they eat in Rome is being destroyed. So, so this is, you know, really an attack, you know, on, on, on your food source as well. Okay. It says, latest on the t largest Texas wildfire in Texas history that swept the Texas panhandle. All right. So this is the largest Texas wildfire. Let me see if I can. Um, I'll read this right here. So like, I know it's going to be a little topsy-turvy, but you know, I got to do this for edification's sake. Just to get more as much information as possible. So it says hundreds minimum of cattle were lost, one million plus uh, one million plus acres scorched, two confirmed dead so far, five hundred plus homes and buildings were destroyed. Cause of the fire is still under investigation. All right, so we're gonna you know pan this out in the spirit. Okay. Right here he says you see the cows running. All right. It says cows run from massive blaze consuming 300,000 acres of, in Texas. And Texas is huge. Okay, Texas is huge, but um, you know, the, you know, this is this is one this this is the biggest, you know, fire in Texas ever. All right, which, you know, you you can definitely, you know, come to some uh come to believe that your government has something something to do with it. It says, um, the footage posted two days ago hits different once you learn that the Texas fires happened in the exact location of the state where 88% of Texas cattle feed, considering the relentless attacks against the beef industry in America by globalists, is this fire a coincidence? All right. This is what happened. <laughs> so quickly that escape was difficult this is what happened in maui okay i'm gonna I'm turn the audio off which is a good it's good to watch like i said all these videos are reposted on my twitter okay or, or my ex account formerly known as twitter all these things are posted on, on, on there you can go in there and you know get this information for yourself but a lot of information is out about uh con con concerning this man all right so it, and it goes on and on you know let me see Showing you different videos, people talking. They, the government wasn't letting people give supplies and stuff. All right, so let's see if I got a few more. Let's go here. All right, I want to show this too before I get off of this. Now this is the substance. Okay, showing you too. Because it's one big joke to them, okay? It's one big joke to them. So they put it in their, you know, little, you know, ca cartoon shows and stuff. Telling you what they're doing before, before they do it. All right? This is The Simpsons, okay? You know, obviously, The Simpsons predicting stuff. No, The Simpsons is ran by Freemason elites, okay? And they plan this stuff out before they do it. This isn't something that just happens. They plan these things out. And, and they got something called, um cosmic retribution i believe it's called where they have to show you what they're going to show you or tell you what they're going, to, they're going to do before they do it and if you if you act like you know they'll show you it's entertainment and if you don't do nothing about it then they're pretty much found blameless in doing what doing what, what they're going to do all right let's read a couple of these scriptures before we go any further it says um job chapter five we, we were going to this a little bit last night um Job chapter 5, verse, uh, I'll get right to the point. It says, verse 12, 
It says he disappoints the devices of the crafty. Okay, and I'm gonna read this in the NLT as well. It says so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right, now let's go to the NLT. Verse 12, it says, He frustrates the plans of schemers so that the work of their hands will not succeed. And this is Esau. He's scheming to bring in his new world order, which they're going to get so far. They're going to get so far. But the Lord is going to um, ultimately, you know, rain it upon them while he is eating. Okay, this man is bringing death and destruction. This is a uh, second. I'm going to go back to that. But this is second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. And they, they told you how they targeted those cat those, those that, that that cattle feed, which is gonna, you know, bring, you know, cows to and and they, they you know slayed some cows. So this is gonna bring a famine. Okay, and more it's a domino effect. Okay, is the point I'm trying to make. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse forty nine. It says, I will send plagues upon the, upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy cities with destruction and death. All right, so really it's the Lord that's doing this. All right, I don't want to, you know, go past that. But also, um, let me see. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to hold that for later. Let me finish this up. It says, Job chapter 5 verse 12, he frustrates plant the plans of schemers so the work of their hands will not succeed. He traps the wise in their own cleverness so their cunning schemes are thwarted. They find it in it's like, yeah, let me go to verse, let me go to KKJV. They meet in darkness and in daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. You know, they come up together with these plans. You got the Bilderberg meetings. Okay, the UN meetings, all these plans, they come together and they're plotting. Okay, they bring in, um, you know, or the, w e e the WEF meetings. All right, they're plotting on bringing forth their enterprise. It says, but he saveth the poor, which are you Israelites, from the sword, which is Esau. Okay, we need to be saved from this devil. It says, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor hath hope and iniquity stoppeth her mouth. Right, because the elect, you know. Of Israel, they, 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 they don't have no army. They, they don't have no say so in this. They, they, they don't have no power. Okay, so it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that, um, you know, pretty much ma 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 makes things go and, uh, you know, makes things stop for, you know, for his elect. It says, Behold, happy is the man whom. Oh, that's the point on that. All right, so let's, so let's go ahead and play this. <laughs> Now see what I hear they showing you this blue umbrella. Okay, everything else got burnt, but one thing they didn't get touched was the blue umbrella. All right, so this, so, this, so this devil he's making a joke about this man because I I I, I I went into this recently in my um in my uh, in my video about what happened in Chile. You know Esau is perfecting his sword and he's using that that sword upon you people. Okay, you had this, this one woman that said um I've got her name something. Uh, 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 Barbara Ma uh, uh, Marks, some along those lines. Her name was, you know, um, she said how, um, you know, it's their job to 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 bring this death and destruction, pretty much along those lines. You can go back and watch the video, you know. But it says, um, verse seventeen. I'll go back to Job five verse seventeen. Behold, happy is the man who the most high, whom the most high correcteth. Therefore, despise thou not the chastening of the Almighty. And that's us coming into this truth. We have been corrected, showing the right way. And, you know, we catch hell every day. That's the part of the chastening. Okay, it says, For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So this is, you know, a, 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 a reminder to, to you, sincere brothers and sisters, don't, a, a, don't fear. Though we see what this devil is doing, don't fear. Okay, because the Lord is going to protect us. All right, he says he delivered thee in six troubles. The Lord going to deliver you in six troubles. You know, when all hell, when all hell is breaking loose, I hear death and destruction and famine and pestilence and disease. The Lord is going to deliver you out of that. Okay, and in seven troubles shall no evil touch thee, which is the ultimate trouble. 
the, 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 the ultimate, you know, plague, which is thermonuclear destruction. No evil shall touch thee. Okay, but hey, I got to inform about this, um, what's going, what Esau is doing on the other side. Okay, the Lord said um, to uh, to uh, warn the, the uh, sheep, okay, or the, or the blood will be on your hands. And this is why we tell you to repent, come into your help, by some shine truth and sincerity. All right, it says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. And this is the time we are in. A time of war. Okay. That's not a time of peace. It's a time of war. And we want to be delivered. All right. From the famines. The pestilences. And the sword. All right. So. Let's play some more. To thank the good people at Chan Jin Smelting and Mining and Donuts and Tops. For neutralizing our wonderful deadly new lard lad. Yeah. That's great. Thou grow back. The time for mourning and blaming our mayors has passed. We will rebuild. 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 I guess there's only one man we can turn to. There you go. All right. They showing you and making a mockery of it in your face. It's how this, this why this man is a devil. It says. <clears throat> Psalm chapter 33. Verse. Let's go to verse 10. I'm going to go to the NLT. It says he the Lord frustrates the plans of the nations. The thought of their schemes. Wait a minute. Let's grab it in the KJV. Salakia. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the of the heathen to naught. So these are the heathen that's doing this. It says he maketh devices. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord Yahweh standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to the to all generations. Right, because at the end of the day, the Lord's will is going to be done. Okay, though Esau is, you know, being a devil, you know, only for so long. And like I said, he's trying to bring forth this new world order, but he's only going to get so far. Okay, he's not going to be able to destroy everybody, which is what his goal is. Let's go to Job chapter 20, verse, um, verse 18. It says that which he labored for, let me go here too. Let's go back here. Let's see. Um, yeah, mysterious green laser captured over video on video during storm, reportedly, uh, or purportedly, from the state of Texas. Developing one million acres have been burned in Texas, which is now the largest blaze in state history. Okay, so this is just some information I have. I'm like this for another video. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this video next. All right. We're going to go into this one next. <clears throat> and this, this probably will be our last video. But let's grab a few scriptures first. All right. Because they got, uh, it says, wildfires as a weapon. U.S. military exposed. Because they use this thing as a weapon. All right. This is a part of the weapon. They covet lands. Which we can grab that too. But it says, Job 20 verse 18. That which he labored for shall he restore. And he shall not swallow, swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. So like here. The restitution be. And he shall not rejoice therein. Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. Because he hath violently taken away in the house in which he built it not. And that's what he's doing. Taking away people homes. He said over 500 homes. And businesses were you know burnt down in Texas. That's not by coincidence. That was by design. It says, surely he will not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. Right. Because this man is trying to bring forth a new world order. But he's not going to, you know, be able to accomplish it because people gonna, people already are, are, are bucking up against him. It says, there shall none of his meat be left. Therefore, shall no man look for his goods. Here's the point. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, which means a path of difficulty. He's going to have uh, uh, problems. It says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him, okay, which is these people, you know, 
every hand of the wicked shall come come upon come come home upon this man. Okay, and I believe you know with these um you know J Jacob Rothschild and you know uh, King Charles or what you know King whatever Prince whatever these you know all these you know rich elite devils that's all of a sudden now they're dying. You know like Jacob Rothschild you know he's saying he he died at 87 which like you know most times those people li 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 live to see 100 120 okay because they have all the resources and you know means to survive which is the lord that I issues death but you know these guys are probably you know faking their death just me speaking as a man you know what if these guys are are, are faking their death and getting ready to go into hiding because they know that they're they're, they're going to be sought after in that day they're being sought after right now all right so let's play some more which you know those those are the elites that we see there's other elites out there that we don't see you know that that, that you never heard of you never seen before that's that that's you know t t t telling the Rothschilds what to do okay there's a whole one of the world out there all right so uh job chapter 20 verse uh 22 it says in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in stretch in fact let me grab this in, in the um nlt as well just for edification's sake, see if there's a little more meat on that bone. All right. This is Job 20. And verse 22. I'm, I'm reading the KJV first. It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall be upon him, shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So while he's trying to bring in that new world order, okay? He's going to try to bring in a new world order. He's filling his belly. The Lord is going to rain fire upon him while he is eating. You know, interrupt him in, in the midst of his, of his meal because this, this devil is about to devour. As he read it, you know, in Revelation 12 and 12, he's about to come down with great wrath. It says, he shall flee the iron weapon and the bow still shall strike him through. So he's going to flee the iron whip. He's going to flee. You know, he's going to try to flee from the, the, the nuclear missiles. You know, going into, uh, you know, the, the outer atmosphere. Going into the, the ocean. Trying to flee from the, the, this nuclear destruction. It says, um. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his goal. Terrors are upon him. It says, all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. All fire, a fire not blown shall consume him. This is a thermonuclear missiles. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. All right. It says, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. Now, I want to read an NLT, Salakia. Let's go to the NLT. It says, Job chapter 20, verse 22. In the midst of plenty, they will run into trouble. And be overcome by misery. May the Most High give them a belly full of trouble. May the Most High rain down his anger upon them. When they try to escape the iron weapon, a bronze tipped arrow will pierce them. The well, arrow is pulled from sorry. the arrow is pulled from their back, and the arrowhead glistened. In blood, the terrors of death are upon them, right? So Esau knows that his time is up, all right? And his judgment is coming. Let's go ahead and play this. Now, I'm playing these videos like this because, you know, particularly these videos, they, you know, they might get me striked. But it's important information, you know, and I believe I can play it on YouTube as long as I go about it a certain way. So, so you got to speak and, you know, show other stuff. But this right here might be a... a, a one, 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 one of those ones, to say the least. So pay attention. Every year is worse than the last. Why? All official sources refuse to or are unable to offer any valid explanation for the increasingly catastrophic fires and fire behavior. Why not? Every single person that I've talked to so far has made the mention that I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. It's burning differently. It's burning uh, more aggressive um, than, than it has in years past. And I know we say that every year, but it, it's, it's unprecedented. It's burning in every direction all at the same time. 
Top fire agency uh, officials have repeatedly acknowledged the now unprecedented behavior of wildfires. Forest fire is a military weapon. Final report, June 1970. This formerly classified U.S. military report provides in-depth detail on the methods the military uses to prepare vast swaths of forests for extremely intense wildfire incinerations. Mm. The United States Forest Service provided much of the data for the U.S. military. Question, is that really the job description for the Forest Service to instruct the U.S. military on how to, quote, set the stage for maximum intensity wildfire incinerations by... And the reason why, and as you see, geoengineeringwatch.org, the reason why they're doing this, you know, is because, um, uh, first of all, they have the power to, you know, it is in the power of their hands, okay? It, it is in their means, but, you know, they want to bring forth that new world order. But um, you, you see this happening all over the world with uh, uh, forest fires, you know, major forest fires, and, you know, um, they're saying that it's burnt the fires. Is it, it, is not is burning differently, okay? Because Esau is doing his thing, but most importantly, Yahweh Bashim Shai is doing his thing, and this is also judgment, okay? Fire is a spirit created for vengeance, all right? So, and this can happen. It can happen anywhere. It's happening all over. We're still about to name some places that it, that that, that it could possibly happen next, and it gets scary. It gets close to home, but like I said, trusting Yahweh Bashim Shai, all right? But this can, like I said, this can happen anywhere. It's ha happened in Maui. It's, it happened in Chile. It happened in California. It's happening in uh, in, uh, in Texas. You know, it keeps happening. All right, and it's, and it's going to continue to happen because this devil's about to come down with great wrath. All right. So before I go any further, let's read this. It says Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, uh, serpents and um, sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. So it said fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So though people, you know, which Esau is the, is the um is the whooping stick of the most high, the, the sword of the most high, the, the left hand of the most high. So he is um doing the will of Yahweh Bashim He he he's a death angel in himself. Okay, all right. It says um they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come they shall not transgress his word, right? So, you know, these devils is is, is definitely doing a thing. All right, let's let's bring this back in finish this video up very important part I want, I, I, I want to see. the United States Forest Service provided much of the data for the US military question is that really the job description for the Forest Service to instruct the US military on how to quote set the stage for maximum intensity wildfire incinerations by months-long atmospheric spraying of desiccants and defoliants, geoengineeringwatch.org has desperately tried to sound the alarm on this exact scenario for a decade and a half. Even more disturbing about this report is the fact that it includes specific data that outlines the best engineered wildfire incineration timing for various regions in the U.S. and other nations that are thought to be U.S. allies. One of the regions in the U.S. that is specifically covered in this report is Mount Shasta, California. Other cities and regions that are rated for their incineration potential in this report include Washington, D.C., Florida, New Mexico, New York. Or I'm going to play this back now. Florida, New Mexico, New York, South Carolina, Florida. But it just hit home right there. I was like, oh, shit. So this is says uh, Tampa, Florida. These are particular places that that this can happen, you know, at you know these spontaneous wildfires, which is really you know Esau being the devil, okay. And they want to blame this on um on uh they want to blame this on uh what is it um uh global warming, or right, they want to blame this on global warming, all right. But right there you see, you know, we located down here in Tampa, Florida, you know, and all you brothers that's located uh, across the states. You know, hey, listen for, for uh, your state, because this is saying where these forest fires as a military weapon could possibly happen. At. That are rated for their incineration potential in this specifically covered in this report is Mount Shasta, California. 
other cities and regions that are rated for their incineration potential in this report include Washington, D.C., Florida, New Mexico, New York, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Minnesota, and in the formerly golden state of California, Los Angeles, Mount Wilson, Blue Canyon, and, as mentioned a moment ago, in my neck of the woods, Mount Shasta, California. Other countries rated for their incineration potential include Greece, Turkey, France, Spain, all of which are countries that have recently been hit with catastrophic wildfires. Countries that have recently been hit with catastrophic wildfires. Just a coincidence? You decide. Mm. So just a coincidence? You decide. All right. This is the time that we are in. I'm going to leave it right there. Well, this is the time we're in, man. Okay, a time of great death and destruction. It's only going to get worse. And it's our job to warn you. Okay, now's the time to repent. Stop, stop, stop playing. Get right with y'all, Bashim, y'all shy. Fast. You know, pray. You know, and most importantly, do the work. You know, you women, you know, be helps. You know, do whatever you can to f f to further this ministry. There's nothing else is going to matter when, when, when this destruction does come. Micah chapter 2 verse 1 it says woe which means destruction to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hands and that's what these devils are doing okay they have the power to do this and, and they're doing it it says they covet fields this is how they get in these lands okay like uh, Hawaii it's like your Hawaii they wanted that land they fighting over that land with, with, with the natives and you know that's how they got it it says how they covet fields okay by violence it says they and take them by violence so this you does this does this look peaceful oh this is violent one day you could be sitting in your house and then and the next day your house could be on fire i mean it's like you the next second your house could be on fire because it happens fast it ain't something that you see coming a real, real forest fire it comes and it takes a while you know for you know the, the trees to burn and get close, close to you, you know at, at, and in the blink of an eye your house can be in in in, in incinerated in flames before you know it you know it's also what we need yahweh bashim al shai because without bashim al shai we're screwed okay without without the lord you are screwed okay this devil's about to come down and wild out it says and houses and shall take them away and oppress them and, sh and so they oppress a man in his house even a man in his heritage right because this devil he's he he, he he's he's he, he, he's he's been a devil all right he's oh he's going to keep being a devil Scripture says they shall be like madmen, sparing none. All right, all the way up. So let me grab this right here and I'll close out. I don't want to make this too long, Salakio. But you know, there's a lot of information coming out, and as it comes out, I definitely want to, you know, touch on these topics and uh, pray, pray, be edifying to the whole folk. Like, most importantly, man, you know, I don't know who watch my videos or who don't watch my videos, but who, for whoever watching, I pray that you be edified, and uh, you know, it, it brings some. Uh, inf information to you because yeah it's a lot of things going on in the world right now man it's a lot of things going on in the world and it's only going to get worse in these last days okay let's go to um <clears throat> it says it's lucky let me grab this Let's grab this real quick. It says, um, so lucky this is not where I want to be at. Let me grab it here. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll just close out with this. Let's go to Ezekiel 21. All right, let's go to Ezekiel 21 and verse 9. Let's go to verse 8, and we'll read it. We'll start up in, um, let's start at verse 1, actually. Let's just start from the top. It says, in the NLT, it says, Then this message came to me from Yahweh son of man turn thy face turn and face jerusalem and prophesy against israel and her sanctuaries 
tell her this is what the Lord says I am your enemy O Israel and I am about to unsheath my sword to destroy your people so the Lord is upset with the majority of our people okay and this is why we, we, we got to come to the Lord in truth and sincerity you know and, and really pray for mercy we all need mercy man because the Lord is upset with our people it says tell her this is what the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai says I am your enemy O Israel and I am about to unsheathe my sword. He, he's about to unleash this devil to destroy your people, the, the righteous and the wicked alike. He's about to destroy all of our people. OK, um, for the most part, you know, the Lord is going to be, you know, the ones who you think be, be the prophets and the ones who are not the prophets, you know, are going to be, 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 be destroyed, you know, and only the elect are going to endure. But some of us may even may even ha have to die. You know, for our faith. Okay, so don't get it twisted. Okay, some of us may have to be martyrs in, in, in this wrath and destruction that's coming. It says, um, the righteous and the wicked alike. Yes, I will cut off both the righteous and the wicked. I will draw my sword against everyone in the land from south to north. It says, everyone in the world will know that I am Yahweh. My sword is my is, is is in my hand and I will and it will not return unto a sheath until its work is finished. Son of man, groan before the people, groan before them with bitter anguish and a broken heart. When they ask why you are groaning, tell them I groan because of the terrifying news I have heard, which is what we have heard is terrifying news of what's coming. It says, when it comes true, the boldest heart will melt with fear. All strength will disappear. Every spirit will, will, will faint. Strong knees will become as weak as water. And the sovereign Lord says, it is coming. It is on its way. So the Lord is about to unleash a holy hell upon this place. We ain't seen nothing yet. And it's going to make everybody fear. It's going to make everybody bow down. It's going to humble everybody. Okay. That's what Ezra says, said, woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? It says, son of man, give the people this message from the Lord. A sword, a sword is sharpened and is it's like a sword is being sharpened and polished. It is being sharpened for terrible slaughter and polished to flash like lightning. You see <laughs> to flash like lightning. And you saw that green light. OK, this devil is perfecting his sword. OK, Esau is perfecting his blessing which is the sword and he's going to unleash it he's going to use it he's going to bring great death and destruction all right that's the truth of the matter I mean, i'm not sugarcoating it i'm not going to tell you what you want to hear i'm not telling you it's all going to be okay because at the end of the day hey we don't know okay we can only hope and pray the lord have mercy upon us man and the lord put the spirit on us to do these videos and these shows to warn you of this in hopes that we can be saved it says those far stronger than, than than you have fallen beneath its power right so <laughs> this devil man he you know he he coming with it it says yes the sword is now being sharpened and polished it is being prepared for the executioner son of man cry out and wail pound your thighs in anguish for that sword will slaughter my people and their leaders everyone will die all right, that's the NLT, man. All right, so a lot, of, a lot of death and destruction is coming. It says they will put them all to the test. What chance do they have? Says the Sovereign Lord, Son of Man, prophesy to them and clap your hands. Take, then take the sword and brandish it twice, even three times, to symbolize the great massacre, the great massacre facing them on every side. Let their hearts melt with terror scripture says through terror of the lord we persuade men it says let their hearts melt with terror for the sword glitters at every gate it flashes like lightning and is polished for slaughter and what does the sword do it destroys it, it brings death it says a sword slash to the right then to the left wherever you will wherever you want i too will clap my hands and will satisfy my fury I, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai, have spoken. Then this message came to me from Yahweh, right? So, and we are tell, telling you the same message. Okay, we are telling you the same message, man. 
All right. Um, let me grab one more slot here. Just one more in the spirit before I go. Um, which what scripture is that? So like, let me let me uh, let me think real quick. Um, oh, let me see. Yep. Let's do this. Ezekiel chapter thirty-three. Okay. Let's go to Ezekiel thirty-three. And this is a constant thing, man. This is this is a constant warning for our people to get right to repent, because this is about to get real out here. It says. Ezekiel chapter 33, I'm reading in the NLT. Once again, once again, a message came to me from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Son of man, give your people this message. When I bring an army against a country, the people of the land choose one of their own to be a watchman, which is the prophets. The prophets are the watchmen. It says, when the watchman sees the enemy coming, he sounded, he sounds the alarm to warn the people. Then if those who hear of the alarm refuse to take action, it is their own fault if they die. Right. And that's what we're doing. We are sounding the alarm. OK, we're telling you to take action, repent, get right, you know, uh, stop, you know, st stop, stop the bullshit. Really, because if you don't, you're going to be destroyed. All right. It says it is their own fault if they if they die, if you don't if you refuse to take action. It says they heard the alarm, but ignored it. So the responsibility is theirs. If they had listened to the warning, they could have saved their lives. That's why we give you these warnings, telling you to repent. Seek your Hawabashim Yahushai fast, pray, you know. I'm telling you, man, to serve your Hawabashim Yahushai. Stop bullshit, man. You're still, still thinking that you got a future and a career here. This place is over, okay? It says, if the watchman sees the enemy coming and doesn't sound the alarm to warn the people, he is responsible for their captivity, and that's why, you know, we gotta warn you. If we see, when, once we see these things, a fire, you know, b boils in us, you know, like burning coals on our tongue. We gotta speak on these things. Okay, this is why you see us do so many videos, you know, so fervent in the spirit, you know, for y'all watching y'all shy. It's not of our own. It's not because oh, of who we are, you know. It's because the Lord, you know, put the spirit upon us, and we pray that He keep the spirit upon us. All right, because we see very clearly. What this is leading up to, we see where this is going. We we understand pl plain as day, what's about to happen, what's about to come. Brother seeing visions, okay, and you sisters seeing visions, man. That's not by coincidence. Wake up, snap out of it. But we know only the elect will, okay. Majority of our people are going to be destroyed. It says, um, but if the watchman sees the enemy coming. And doesn't sound the alarm. You you men that know this truth, and you're not saying shit. You're not doing your videos. You're not on fire. You know what the Lord? What, what, what the hell? What the hell? The Lord need you for if, 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 if you ain't gonna be on fire, man. You know. It says, um, he like Jake. You know, Jake think that this truth is about debates and you know riding Hellcats and you know going to fucking to, to Israelite summits. No, bro. The Lord didn't call you for that. He said, go out there and warn. My people, okay, give them warning from me, okay, but hey, to, to each his own, it says they will die in their sins, but I will hold the watchman responsible for their death, All right, so as us knowing this truth, having this knowledge and understanding, we don't want to be held for nobody else's death, that's why we warn you, okay, we give you give you the benefit of the doubt to repent and seek your help, Bashim Yahushai. Now, son of man, I am making you a watchman for the people of Israel. Therefore, listen to what I say and warn them from me. It's like for me, if I announce the wicked, that wicked, it's like if I announce that some wicked people are sure to die and you fail to tell them to change their ways, then they will die in their sins and I will hold you responsible for their death. So whoever going to die, going to die. But at the end of the day, we got to warn you. The scripture says whether they hear or they forbear. OK, we, 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 we don't want the blood on our hands. Okay, so we don't have a say so. This ain't a thing of, oh, I don't feel like doing a video. No, we have to do videos. We have to come out here and warn you. Okay, this is a, this this is a, this is a, this is a necessity. Okay, it says, but if you warn them to repent and they don't repent, they will die in their sins. But you will have saved yourself. Okay, which you know really, Yahushua is a savior, but we are you know spiritually saving ourselves. 
scripture says um give diligence to make thy calling and election sure okay so we got to be on fire with this thing man you know constantly you know something happens you see something going on you got to speak on it you know especially something as big as this you know it says son of man give the people of israel this message you are saying are gives people to israel this message you are saying um you are saying our sins are heavy upon us we are wasting away uh how can we survive that's the point you know that's the point all right let me read a little more actually it says as surely as i live saith the sovereign lord i will take no pleasure in the death of wicked people i only want them to turn from their wicked ways so they can live and that's the that that that's your how about shimon shai he don't take pleasure in killing you people but he wants you to return from your ways you know you israelites you wicked israelites the lord wants you to repent you know the lord ain't out here just trying to kill all his people you know he wanted people to be this is what we have this grace spirit to get right you know to come back to your how about shimon shai and truth and sincerity you know to get our act together but if you don't then you yeah you, you know you you got what's coming it says turn turn from your wickedness O people of israel why should you die why 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 you want to die okay son of man give your people this message uh the righteous behavior of righteous people will not save them if they turn to sin okay um it says, nor will the wicked behavior of wicked people destroy them if they repent. Ooh, ooh this is good. It says, son of man, give the, your people this message. For It says, the righteous behavior of righteous people will not save them if they turn from, from, from if they turn to, if they turn to sin. So you come in this truth, you start being righteous. You know, your righteous behaviors are not going to save you if you go back into the world. It says, nor will the wicked behavior of wicked people destroy them if they repent and turn from their sins. So if you, you know, we all was wicked before we came into this truth. You know, that can't destroy you if you turn from your sins. You stop doing those things to the best of your ability. Okay. Put some action for it. It says, when I tell righteous people that they will survive, but they, but, but then they sin, expecting their past righteousness to save them then none of their righteous acts will be remembered i will destroy them for their sins you got people that um come 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 in, into this truth and fall out you know you fall out it don't matter how if you how long you've been in this thing if you fall out okay you scripture says he that endure until the end the same shall be saved it says and suppose i tell some wicked people that they will surely die but then they turn from their sins and do that is just and right for instance they might have they might give back a debtor and that's the point that's the point you you get the picture you know matter of fact i'll read it in the, in the, in the kjv just to clear everything up and i'm, I'm gonna close out it says um Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 12 in a uh in the kjv therefore thou son of man say unto the children of thy people the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgressions as for the wickedness of the wicked shall not fall whereby the day slakia is late slakia it says as for the wickedness of the wicked he shall not fall he thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he is that that he sinneth. Hmm. You get the picture. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's, it's, it's a little more complicated in the KJV than it is in the NLT. But yeah, so pretty much if you come into this truth and you you know you fall out, you gonna you're not gonna be saved by what you did when you was in the truth. And if you if you if you, and if you come into this truth and you turn from from your sins, then you can be saved for 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 repenting. You know. So that's the point. You know, you don't want to get caught up in this death and destruction that's coming. All right. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Double Honest, to our teachers, the head elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole full scattered abroad. Shalom.